Hello, Star Wars Galaxy Hero players. This is Andy Tesh Ordo, and today I'm going to be talking about the content update of February 6th, 2019, and the B1 and B2 kits, as well as the Emperor's Shuttle. But I kind of want to quickly show this uh, trailer off as I talk about it. Um, so we're definitely going to be getting the Droid Separatist Army, the B1, B2, the Droidica. Can't wait to see what the Droidica does. Oh, I'm sure the Droidica is going to be insane. And the B2 is going to be chaining off of that. <laughs> and then you got these three reworked. Oh, man, Grievous is going to be the attacker. B1 is going to be the attacker. And we're going to have three tanks. At least I'm assuming the B2 or the Droidica is going to be a tank. Because we know the B2 is still a tank. He only changed a few things. And I do want to show off that B2 is reworked. Came out today. The B1 is the 14th and 15th. Where the 20th is General Grievous and Magna Guard reworks, and then the 21st, 22nd. So we got, we got probably a whole, like maybe next week we'll see the reworked kits, but we won't, but I assume we're going to see the reworked kits come out the 20th. But we're only going to get like one thing next week, unless they're going to give us maybe a couple of ships next week that they have yet to announce. So we'll see what happens. Uh, like we might get the, um, the uh, vulture droid as well as the tri droid maybe and these would be the pilots for them we'd have to see we'd have to see which i think that would actually be game changing or at least meta changing for separatists as long as we get like a separatist ship or a fleet ship so i'm not going to cover too much of this i've done a few different <laughs> recordings so but i will have the all this stuff in the link in the description below especially the trailer so if you want to read through this, go for it. There's only these changes, so yeah. So let's get into the kit. B1, Battle Droid, he's a tank, or not a tank, a droid separatist attacker. He overwhelms the opponent with numbers. His B1 barrage deals physical damage to target enemy. If target it was target or if target was target locked, all droid allies recover 5% of their leader's max health and protection. Huge. I do know General Grievous has a high max health. And it, he also, like the current kit without the rework, we don't know if it's, it's going to be removed or not, Gets gives him 10% max health for each droid ally. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, for, so, but yeah, that's cool. He, he, and I wouldn't mind seeing more of these like basic or special abilities, like maybe uh, for other factions. Uh, just some sort of like recovery like say for example if you inflict a damage over time effect with Tuscan Shaman Tuscans recover the 5% health and protection there you go Urzatron there you go <laughs> blast them cooldown of zero do physical damage target enemy or to all enemies and inflict target lock for two tur two turns on this selected target gain one stack of droid battalion for each other separatist ally heal a target other separatist ally for 0.05% max health and protection uh, for each stack of droid battalion so 0.5 is for one two it'll be one percent so I think a hundred stacks would give you 50% and so on and so forth so that's kind of cool and you can start since it has a cooldown of zero every time he attacks as long as you're not facing a CLS based team He'll be able to spread around or spread around healing effects for allies. So that's kind of cool. Big effects, or or you do a basic and kind of top off with this one. Uh, Roger, Roger, or should I say, Roger, Roger. Um, final t <laughs> uh, it says whenever another separatist ally uses an ability during their turn, B1 assist dealing 40% less damage, limited once per turn. When another droid ally uses a special ability, B1 gains 15% turn meter. That's cool. Unique 2, Droid Battalion. B1 can't score critical hits or be revived. B1 has no protection. One health, so he is the Shed Ninja of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And 100 stacks of Droid Battalion, which and can't be defeated or destroyed while they have Droid Battalions. That, or droid battalion so that's kind of cool so he's not defeated or destroyed when all stacks of droid battalion expire b1 immediately destroys himself b1 is immune to damage over time so 
I will say when the Rancor eats, all they're doing is eating one of the hundred. But when they kill one, they eliminate eight, essentially. Uh, B1 takes damage, dispels all debuffs on themselves, and lose eight stacks of Droid Battalion. At the start of B1's turn, they gain three stacks of Droid Battalion. So it makes me wonder if Plague actually will just be a wrecking ball for this character. But then again, he's at one health all the time, so Plague might not even apply, now that I think about it. And Burning will, de will destroy and dispel and stuff like that, so... But anyways, and also Droid Battalion says each stack grants B1 2% offense and all droid or all separatist allies gain 0.5% tenacity and critical avoidance. So that's cool. So 100 stacks, 50% of each. Nice. So that's B1. I, I do like that. And then the way they actually show it off in the video. Um, so here it is. One, use the ability. And there's two more droids. The animation's amazing. The animation's amazing. So let's get into B2's kit really quick. Not a lot of changes, and I don't see it would have hurt to keep the basic as is, but just add all this green stuff on it. But they remove the inflicting of evasion down for two turns. But it says if target if target is target locked, inflict critical damage down for two turns. Otherwise, inflict target lock for two turns. That's kind of basic. Uh, the mow down is the same other than it. They upped it from 65% to 80% chance to inflict buff immunity, which is great because of all this buff city of the buff city uh, uh, Jedi Revan team. So just like so much buffs. I would have loved to see this ability can't be evaded. Or if the enemy has foresight, they have a, you know, maybe 75% or like a 50% chance to evade. So it gives more of a chance, and it also helps with accuracy. I don't know. Um, Relentless Barrage, B2, it's still the same. 40% chance to gain 100% turn meter, but it also adds target locked enemies have negative 25% crit chance and evasion. It's starting to turn into like an Imperial Trooper team with droids, but doing an opposite effect if the enemy has target lock. So they give, like, uh, probe droid can't, can't they can't dispel as long as they have target lock? Um, I think it would dispel, and then they can't heal with IGD8, so it's really nice. Or they can't uh, they can't gain buffs. That's what it was. They can't gain buffs uh, with B2, or not B2 Imperial Probe Dread. So that's always cool. Um, final ability I already is seven. This I haven't zated it, of course, but whatever. Uh, B2 has a forty percent chance to reduce cooldowns by one whenever separatist ally is evaded or damaged by an attack i would not have mind it saying separatist or droid ally because this one's just uh, whenever another ally in general so set so this definitely works better with a separatist team i would have loved it to be separatist or droid and then whenever b2 inflicts debuff other separatist droid allies gain five percent turn meter so there's just a lot of more separatist based synergy which makes sense but I would have loved it, let's say, Separatist or Droid. So, but I like that. So that's, I, this kit, we'll just have to see how it works out in the game. But I do like the fact that he's going to be taking a lot of turns. He's going to be reducing, mowing down like crazy. It's going to be interesting. Um, finally, here's this part. Target is target locked. Inflict critical damage for two turns. Critical damage down for two turns. Is the exact same basic literally essentially if crit if the character's target locked inflict critical damage down for two turns so it makes it so <laughs> it's kind of like they probably work on the same thing they're like yeah let's just add it together so i thought that was kind of cool but aggressive offense just still special damage target i mean like i already covered it basically um emperor's influence oh also you do need royal guard for this emperor palpatine and royal guard here's the synergies so um, Emperor's Influence dispel all debuffs from target Empire or Sith ally. They recover 50% health and protection. Dispel all buffs on target enemy. Inflict buff immunity on all target locked enemies for two turns. This, this ability starts on cooldown and can't be evaded. So that's cool. Um, then Royal Escort, the Royal Guard's ability. Deals special damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns. 
Then the healthiest other Empire Sith ally taunts for two turns, so that's nice. I will say uh, the B this ship is faster than the B2 bomber, so you'll be able to auto-taunt the B2 bomber, so that's always nice. Um, battle test information, dispel all debuffs on Emperor's shuttle anytime it takes damage from target lock enemy. Empire Sith allies gain forty uh, gain protection up twenty percent for two turns when critically hit, doubled to forty percent uh, protection up for Empire Sith allies that are taunting. So basically, the tanks will just start mm, taunting up, or anytime they taunt, boom. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, Imperial entanglement. The Emperor shuttle when it enters the battlefield gains protection up and crit immunity for two turns. Emperor allies gain offense up for two turns. Empire and Sith allies. Inflict target lock or tenacity down on target enemy for two turns, which can't be evaded or resisted. The Emperor shuttle can use this uh, Emperor's influence immediately. So, yeah, I forgot to say this does start on, yeah, so this starts on cooldown and can't be evaded. But now if he comes in, he can automatically use it. So he comes in, the bomber's almost dead, he heals it up, and boom! That makes it a lot better. So we'll see. After we'll have to see how these shit this ship does in arena. I feel like it'll be great in arena. Um, like it's like it says, its synergies are kind of with these guys. But I'm sure people will be like, let's take this out, give it Darth Maul. Darth Maul will throw their stealth. I don't know. There's a lot of strategies people will figure out. So, but other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the battle droid kits as well as the Emperor Shuttle. I really like them. I'm excited to, to see what else they have in store for us with the Destroyer Droid, the reworks of Royal Guard, the Grievous, and, of course, um, Royal Guard. Oh, yeah, the, the, not the Royal Guard, the Magna Guard. <laughs> I'm getting things mixed up. So, again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those watch the videos I make. And it would really be appreciated if you do subscribe, like, comment, and share. And click the bell icon if you want to see more of my videos. And you folks have a wonderful day.